Women's Wellness Tribe, the podcast. Get comfortable, get your walking shoes on, and let's get going. Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Cooler Women's Wellness Podcast. And I have another amazing guest with me today. Um, I've got Zoe. She lives here with me in Dubai and she works in the health and wellness industry with me. And she is a, a real girl and she's got manifestation magic. And yeah, I've invited her on today because I think she's got a lot to share. And I know that some of you out there are trying to do all of these spiritual things and I know I touch on a lot of them and we're just going to bring it down for you today so that you can learn how to fit it into your own lives and learn how it all works so before we do all that welcome Zoe how are you hello thank you I'm good thank you how are you I'm good I'm good it's getting very hot here in in Dubai though isn't it it's kind of like Mm -hmm. hide in the house weather yes it's exactly that so before we start, before we start talking about magic and miracles and manifestation, tell, uh, tell my listeners a little bit about yourself. Um, so I moved to Dubai about two years ago now, just over two years ago. And I came here to do something completely different. And I have ended up working back in the health and wellness industry. I was, I used to be a performer. I was a performer for about 18 years. and. Um, naturally obviously working with my body and uh being able to understand how to teach how to deliver how to be around people understand what people are going through as well um it kind of naturally led into that way and obviously I've had on done all my qualifications my yoga 200 hours teachers training pilates what else have I done I'm a PT I have a couple of female clients and yeah it all naturally just progressed as it was supposed to Yes, and that's yeah. that's the thing which we'll talk about today, this natural progression of magic. Um, before we start then, so let's chat a little bit. How did you sort of get into this the spiritual side of calling in your dreams? Do you know what? I think it was a, an awareness, really, if I'm honest. It, um, awareness of different patterns, awareness of different things happening awareness of how kind of things were coming together and that actually really didn't take place until probably just before the pandemic and Mm. mainly during the pandemic as well I'd always known something but it was more of a all right and now I get it I get it now um and I started to become really aware of like numerology and seeing numbers and Um, different signs and just things started to happen and you I I kind of had to learn to let let go a little bit because I used to have a feeling I still do sometimes and I remind myself of it that I had to be in control of everything around me so I felt kind of sick but it's actually the complete opposite yeah Um, and I really started to lean into that a lot more and then things started to shift massively so Amazing. yeah it was more of an awareness really um, yeah. and simply lots of people I was bumping into well not bumping into but were brought to my awareness like online different spiritual um guides and um you know different podcasts that I would listen to and resonate with and I was like yeah yeah I get that that's I've experienced that and so it just all started to come to fruition yeah yeah. Yeah. And I think a lot of my listeners are at that stage. I, I get a lot of messages asking, you know, about how energy works and vibration and this happens to me. And, um, you know, I see these things. So that's totally, totally in line. And I know we talk about, I'm just going to go back to angel numbers and we, we talk about numbers a lot. So if I've got, if there's list, people listening um, and they see, certain numbers and things what does that mean what would you say to them if they're like oh my god I always see the number three what does that mean spiritually or what would you say to look out for it's meant it's a part of it's guidance isn't it it's Mm -hmm. whatever whatever's happening right now it's happening for a certain reason um 
and it's to either learn something or move something or shift. Uh, yes. That's always been every time I see numbers predominantly and I mean they are they scream at me sometimes <laughs> I'm like got it something's happening and the, a month later something will completely change yeah but you're being guided to say that everything's all right you just kind of prepare for it um yeah just be prepared for it and that's it so if anyone's listening you're like oh my god I always see you know whatever number what I would say and I'm Zoe I know you do the same get on Google. <laughs> see the meaning of the number like you don't have to be a numer- uh, numerology numerology expert like the, the all the information there already for you so just give it a google and I know that I my numbers are 1011 which also happens to be my date of birth and whenever I've asked something or whenever I've you know, being down or some change is happening. And I remember being at school saying to one of my friends, like, every time I check the time, it's 10, 11. And I just thought it was because it was my birthday and it was a coincidence. But then I'd see it as 11, 10, or it would be a mixture of those numbers. And that's mm-hmm. still the case now. So again, go away. And I know for me, number one is everyone's one, the universe. And I take that as when I'm seeing that, that my guide's are like, hello, yes, we're here. You know, just... <laughs> stop freaking out carry on doing what you're doing you know it's taking it is is that message from them and again you don't have to be an expert just tuning into you know it might be every time you send a voice note it's two 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 or you Mm -hmm. stop the microwave on four seconds or four 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 every time or whatever it is you will have your own patterns so just tuning into that like zoe said it's it's a message it's guidance it's something something coming through there yeah Um, and i think also, for me, I found out personally that different phases in my life, different numbers appear. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that has been so predominant ever since, like, from three years ago. And I remember when I first started, when it first started happening and I was freaking out. And I was like, why is 11.11 on my microwave, my my washing machine, my oven, my watch? It was there, like, the whole time, at the same time, every single day. And that's when I was like, right, I didn't know any of this before. I was like, something is, something's going on. I thought my electronics were wrong, but it wasn't that actually. Um, And then once I leaned into it, the mass amount of changes that happened. And it was just basically saying, you you make the the decision and we're like, we're here. You'll be guided. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Then it went from two, then it went from ones to twos, then one, three, one, three, then three, three, three. Now it's one, one seven or 177 and I see it on every single car number plate coming down every single road it's bizarre yeah Yeah, and I like so anyone listening now start tuning into your numbers I think this this is probably one of the first steps isn't it so you know you don't have to have this grand spiritual awakening where you know it, it can happen where you're meditating and you really tune in and you go out of this universe opening their spiritual door can start with your numbers so after you've listened to this podcast just start tuning in see what numbers are coming up and just have a little look what they mean there's a really good book and he I think he also has a podcast it's Kyle Gray is that right it is Kyle Gray isn't it so yeah yeah. so have a look through one of his his book and he explains it really well without the woo-woo just like we're talking about it now and it doesn't have to be woo-woo it can just be oh, I'm seeing all these numbers. What are you trying to tell me? Like keeping it, keeping it every day, keeping it real. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. It, it, numer- it was funny because just before this, I was reading something about numerology. It popped up on my phone. And um, it, 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 numbers are a part of every single human being's experience. We're born with numbers. We've got date of birth, the year we were born. It, there, there are numbers everywhere you can't get away from them it is a part of life and when you find that when you tune into it and you start to understand patterns or you see the patterns just kind of lean into it a bit and be like right okay what's what's happening here and yeah. it, well, everything will be revealed because we can't we are not physically able to do everything on our own we need something else there and something else is guiding us when we tune into it yes it is so from numbers then let's talk mm-hmm. a little bit about the magic of manifestation and it this will touch on a lot of things so rituals routines but in your own words if someone is to ask you like what does it even mean what is manifestation what how do you how do you explain it 
So, wow, I've got so many stories. Sorry. Put you on the spot there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, for me, uh, well, one, one thing is really trusting your intuition. That means if something feels wrong, it usually is. If something feels right, then it probably is as well. Um, manifestation comes through you. Um, so in that sense that you don't, you kind of don't sit there and say, oh, I want X, Y, and Z. And be like, where is it? When it doesn't come, it's like, no, it, it, you, you get what you kind of become, but you have to take that action. So for me, um, it's like emotion in action. That's how you manifest. And I've always found out if I have an, a nudge to do something, I'll start working on it. Or, you know, I was like, oh, I really feel like I should do my yoga 200 hours teacher training. I am now hired as a yoga teacher, as well as everything else. This, you know what I mean? It's like I had a nudge that I could do that. And then a great job came through. Or um, <laughs> another thing is that's just a little example, but for me, I'm going to talk about my story last year. I was in a really weird situation. I was like basically looking for an apartment. I'd stopped at this villa and um, all the electricity went out for like three weeks and no one was doing anything about it. And I was like, right. And I was like, if that's not a sign, but I was like, do you know what? I don't, I want, I want an apartment that's fully furnished. I want it brand new. Um, we're in Dubai, so people will laugh at this, but I was like, I want all those included. This is the amount that I want to pay. I would like to be the first tenant. And I had nothing, Joanne. I mean, nothing, no, no clues, no whatever else. So what I did that day was I packed my, I packed my whole entire wardrobe, my furniture, everything up, put it in the front room. And I was like, right, that's what I'm going to go and get. So everything was packed up. Bear in mind, I took the action to pack everything up. I'd said what I wanted. I'd been very, very specific. That afternoon, I found the apartment with all bills included, brand new furnished, new tenants. And I mean, brand new furnished down to a blooming knife rack. I mean, it's perfect. Even a little Christmas tree was put in there. And I moved the next day. So that's amazing. It, yeah. yeah. It's about being very, very, very clear, I think, of what being specific and clear, but also, I mean, the nudge in me was there because obviously I was getting angry about the situation. So I thought, right, the only thing I can do about it is take action and just act as if it's happening. And it happened. Yeah. And then that same, literally that same week or that weekend, I bought my new car. And then I got a little slide in my DMs and someone was like, we'd like to, um, we're just wondering if you're still in Dubai because we'd like to offer you this job. And I was like, what is going on? But yeah, just took action. And then everything just kind of opened up from there. Yeah. And I think that's it. When you're all looking to manifest, I see it as well. Like I'll write my little wish list and you can see this as a shopping list, but like Zoe said, you have to sort of, you have to say what you want but it's not just a case of here's this you know if you were going to go to the shop with your sorry if you're writing a shopping list you need to go yeah. to the shop to buy the stuff and with manifestation it's a case you know you can write your list but then you have to take these steps to first of all I see it as you know in your case you you were clear what you wanted with your apartment but if you didn't pack up your apartment and you were just going oh, I'm just going to stay here till something comes you're showing the universe that you're not looking to move and the universe is going to go, oh, hang on a minute. Like she's not, she's not, not doing bothered. anything. Yeah. Yeah. She's not bothered. So yeah. you pack your stuff up and, you know, there you go. There's a perfect apartment. And it's the same with, you know, I found, you know, handing my notice in at work or even now as freelance, if I get offered something and it's not the right, you know, I've this year made sure that I, value my worth and mm -hmm. if someone says do you want to do this for x amount and it's not the right amount I yeah. say no and then mm -hmm. lo and behold a few days later someone will message me and go oh can we do this and this is how much we're going to pay you I'm like yeah. right okay I'm valuing and I've put out there this is what I want so mm -hmm. I feel like you get sent these little tests and you can say no you don't have to and then what you want will come along and it's communicating with the universe this is what I want and I'm going to show you by taking this action, by taking these inspired steps. And it could just be something small, like packing up. Well, it's not, really? it's not small packing it's up not your small. apartment, but <laughs> yeah. 
yeah but um, sending, a, sending a message you know it could yeah. be something really tiny so um that's I think think that's the the basics of it isn't it and that then opens yeah. the door for them and it's having that like I said before like the you, you have an intuitive nudge if you have an intuitive nudge to do something do that one small thing and everything else will literally kind of open up and and unfold naturally and this is where you have to step out of the way and not be in control where my other thought my thought used to be I have to control everything I have to do x y and z da, 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 da. but it's not you can't because we're not yeah <laughs> you can do the, the actions but you've got it yeah you've got it it's like it's a process you've got to trust it and also it's like shifting that belief so I used to think well you know I'm in Dubai and and you know I'm, I'm only going to get this kind of apartment it's going to be this and it's going to be through the roof and I had to tune that down because what I got mm-hmm. was what no one would but when I tell people the story they're like that is unheard of but I decided to believe something different yeah and it's shifting a belief and it, that's the hardest part it's I mean I you know going through things in in a process with different situations now it's not the thing on the outside it's the belief that you need to kind of shift for the thing to shift on the outside if that makes sense yeah yeah Yeah. totally if you believe you can't do something then you're not going to you're not going to do it if you believe something can't happen it's not going to happen yeah even if it seems a bit far-fetched and I know when I talk to people about manifestation and you know my boyfriend is a big I always mention him podcast scientist a big a big skeptic and he he's like oh you know he'll he's like why haven't we got a Ferrari on the driveway then I'm like well first of all I'm not putting any actions in to get a Ferrari and there probably mm-hmm. is some block in my head that thinks <laughs> yeah. I can't have a Ferrari you know because I'm not putting mm-hmm. that attention on it but funnily enough this morning he sent me a message he forwarded me something on Instagram I can't remember what car it was but he you know can you manifest this for us please so he's, he's he's coming around to it because he has seen like I'm always like oh my god I totally manifested this and he's like what how so I'll tell him what I'd done whether I'd wrote something down or just put it out there that you know this is what I want and I'm asking for it and the steps that I'm going to take so he's even he's slowly coming around to the the fact that if you believe it's going to come so yeah let's talk um, let's talk a little bit about your rituals and routines so this is a thing that always comes up as well especially people who you know I talk about my morning and you know I'll meditate and I do my intentions and gratitude and xyz and you know I have a bit more time and than other people um what are your rituals and routines around your busy day well honestly I feel like when I take myself to the gym don't just go to the gym obviously to train my body but I feel like that is um it is it is a ritual for me Mm. um because it it clears your head you get to work your body you're moving with your body you feel so much better after it um so it's that's that's what I would put in movement um taking a walk I know it's really hot now, but I do like to get out in nature. There's lots of little parks where I am and just start listening to something and just asking myself little questions as I walk, maybe do a little walk in meditation, nothing big, just popping some, yeah. pop my earphones in and walking around and just repeating something um, and resting. I know that sounds crazy, but I went through some really crazy busy the past couple of months and since I've rested actually more has come to me once I've been in a resting space (laughs) than it was before does that make sense yeah and that's because again you're allowing so the more you fill your life the less space you've got for anything new to come in sometimes something has to give for you to allow that thing to come in and I'm glad that you said about going to the gym and walking as meditation um as a ritual because again not everyone especially if you've got kids 
your morning meditation might be after they've gotten out of the car when you've dropped them off at school and you can Mm. stick some music on not music without words or even driving in silence and just talking or saying out loud like this is what I this is what I want this is what I'm going to do and you know having that conversation with yourself sitting in silence is a form Mm. of meditation yeah taking your mind away yeah yeah resting your mind and resting your body and I Mm. think if you're again listening to this and you're always like oh no it's you know I'm not spiritual I'm not woo woo I don't believe in all of that these things You don't have to believe in because it's not only good for manifestation, it's also good just for your soul, just for your life. Taking that moment for yourself to calm, be quiet, then you'll see the magic come in. And then, you know, you'll be more open and knowing that, oh, something's going on here. And it is, it is magic. Um, And with your intuition, yeah. Yeah. We've got amazing intuition and, you know, it's, is that science? Is that spirituality? And there's a fine line between the two. And that, again, if you're like, oh, I don't know what intuition is, it's that feeling in your tummy that mm-hmm. you get when you know something's completely off or you get that, oh my God, yes, I'm totally in. And that's your intuition telling you. And I'm sure everyone listening to this, you know, you've been asked on a date by someone who might be the most, I don't know, good looking David Beckham, Brad Pitt mixed, you know, he's absolutely gorgeous, but there's just something in your tummy that's like, nah, he's yeah. he's not, he's not for me. And that's your intuition telling you, because there's something about him that's not for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, so, yeah, that's anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and also I, journaling, I, journaling. I write down things just to get oh, it out yeah. my head. Yeah. I don't sit and I wouldn't sit and write an affirmation every morning because I, 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 teach early in the morning so I actually don't get have time for that but just to sit and to write it out get everything out everything out it's like a clearing up it's like clears your space like when you clear your draw you clear everything out just write it down yeah yeah exactly that's just reminding me actually one tip that um really helped me to sort of help clear is clearing out your knicker drawer have you have you done this just clearing out all your old knickers (laughs) <laughs> yeah, this is a week actually, yeah. also with my bathroom cabinet as well. Yeah, get rid of the the shit, the shitty grey knickers that you use when you're on your period. Like the knickers that you've had from Primark that are full of holes. That yes, they might be comfortable, but we hold on to these things, and just by releasing the crap physically, also helps yeah. you to release crap mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So after this homework numbers go look for your numbers and go and clear out stuff empty your wardrobe and one of the most the things that I love doing I get rid of all well not all my clothes I have clothes <laughs> but cleaning out my wardrobe just get rid of everything I don't I, I live outside in the garden though um having a really good wardrobe clear out because I had clothes in Dubai that I know that if I went through my Instagram feed I probably had them 10 years ago and I brought them to Dubai and I don't know what I was holding on to them I don't know for what I've got no idea but you know you're like oh I might wear it like, I haven't worn it for seven years so why am I holding on to this and having a clear out I think I had another clear out a few weeks ago giving those clothes to charity and then just that feeling of right I've released and it's as if you release a part of you that's no longer and then something else, something new comes in. And, yeah. you know, I got, I picked up an extra client and I was able to, you know, I was like, right, with that, with that first money, I'm going to go shopping. And I got loads of new clothes that I actually felt like were me, the new yeah. me and not the old me that I was holding on to. So go clear out your knicker drawer, your wardrobes, your bathroom cabinets, get walking in your car, moving meditation, whatever it is you can do to clear your head yeah and yeah what I wrote also wrote down here as well to ask so I know we've spoken about numbers Mm. so do you ask for signs as well other than numbers yeah Yeah. oh my gosh signs I this happened very very clearly a couple of months ago I was trying to make a decision on something and I was like do you know what I'll just wait for a sign this morning I'll look for a sign this morning basically the sign was a person just being like look 
there's an offer there's that there's that I was like right okay maybe that's the sign <laughs> maybe that's the sign um yeah signs I do ask for signs all the time and they'll come up in the they'll they will come up yeah yeah it, say and do you do you have any um I don't know if there's so much spirit animals, but do you have any animals that you use that you pop, pop up when you're like, is there anything that all, is always there when you need to see it other than numbers? Um, do you have- I don't, I haven't really, I haven't really done much of the animal thing, but it's more, for me, it is just more, It it's more of numbers. It's Yeah. It's a, yeah it, numbers are really, really predominant in my, my everyday life. Yeah. And, it's it's incredible what comes after that yeah it's see I do I so just going to share a couple of my signs as well so I always tend to have the same numbers but I do have so if you're listening to this like oh I don't know I don't see any numbers have a look at if there's anything that you see a lot of so I know when I'm worried about money I'll see a dragonfly or right. if I've got money on my mind and I take that as one of my spirit animals that he comes and I have them in the house here. Like I don't even, I live, we live in the desert. Like I don't know where they come from. Um, But you might probably see them on my Instagram if, you know, random dragonfly. But that's when I'm kind of like, if I get into the mindset of penny pinching or like, oh, I'm not going to get that because of this or, you know, I'll see a dragonfly. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to (laughs) stop and they always pop up and also ladybirds because I ask for a ladybird because it's hard to see ladybirds here in Dubai so if I'm mm-hmm. unsure of something I will ask for a ladybird I'm just like right show me a ladybird so I know and I will see a ladybird at some point I completely forget about it but then you know I'll open um oh, where was I I asked for an owl <laughs> all animals and I was at a client's house and I'd completely forgotten about the owl. And I was just, you know, doing my thing. And she's got a little boy and he brought me over a, a little tiny figure of a toy owl. And I was like, okay. Oh God, like, out of all, yeah. yeah, out of all the figurines, like he loves animals, he brought me an owl. And, you know, so just looking for things. And if you're not sure, test it out. Ask, just say, right, can you show me, pick something and see how long it takes to come and then you know you know that it's you know that it's working yeah you, you, actually funny you saying that because I'm just thinking back just before I moved, was moving to Dubai I kept finding ladybirds in my house randomly uh, yeah yeah it, and I'm it, 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 these ladybirds coming but uh <laughs> yeah but animal thing the animals as not as much as me for you but they they do come around randomly yeah Yeah. and it's just another one of those things that again start of your path of looking into and I feel like manifestation is just a way of you let letting go of control because Mm -hmm. you're trusting in something else but at the same time I feel like it gives me more um guide not guidance it shows my path and it, I feel like I have control even though I'm giving the control up if that makes sense yeah. because it's you know so if you're at this point in your life when you're like oh I just don't know and these things keep happening and you you know you hear me talk about manifestation or you've seen it on Instagram and it's popping up and you're like I don't know where to start then follow the steps that we've we've given you today <laughs> so yeah, yeah numbers putting it out there, taking small steps, bringing these rituals into your life because, you know, me and Zoe are living proof of, you know, we didn't, neither of us went looking for this. It found us. And, Mm. you know, I would say, actually, I have always been a little bit (laughs) woo-woo. I was going to say, I don't think I'm woo-woo, but yeah, I've always been a little bit woo-woo. It's always been there scratching under the surface. But I didn't go looking for a spiritual awakening. I didn't even know what a spiritual awakening was. And all of these things just came one step at a time. Um, And I'm sure it was the same for you. You know, it's just, it just happens, doesn't it? 
Yeah, and it's a part you you have to look after yourself as well. You have to say no to things that really do not align with you because mm-hmm. if you say yes, it, it, it it's like that's that's the thing that you're gonna accept. Do you know what I mean? And it's I mean, there's yeah. no there's no right or wrong thing. Any anything that goes wrong will lead you to the next right thing. Um, but it, it, yeah, you, you, looking after yourself in a way to say, actually, no, that really doesn't serve me very well. I, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Or, you know, let me think on it and I'll get back to you or whatever it is. But it's just kind of honouring your space as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that is when your intuition comes in. So if someone's asking you to do something and you get that feeling in your tummy, it's your intuition saying no or yes. You know, like Zoe just said, you know, ask for more time to make your decision or just say no, just say no, it doesn't align with me right now. You know, I don't have time and learning to say no, because again, spiritually, it's going to help or it's going to bring something in. But for your emotional and mental health, you're letting go of that people please aside and you're learning how Mm. to say no, because it's something you don't want to do. So either way that you look at it, it's a win win. You're you know, only good things can come from saying no. Yeah. When when it doesn't feel right. <laughs> Finish the sentence right. off there. Yeah. If it doesn't feel right and you need to say no, say no. If it feels yeah. right, you know, it's it's um yeah, and it's just a journey with no destination either. It's mm-hmm. something that you just will keep going on and it's lovely and it's you'll find also find your tribe. You'll find people that, you know, I found Zoe through a manifestation group on it was Facebook wasn't it Facebook group and you know I just so happened or I she saw that I wrote I was in Dubai and I saw she wrote she was in Dubai and it was like oh I'm in Dubai too and we were chatting on this group and then I did a beach yoga session and Zoe was there and I was like huh are you in that group (laughs) and then and then you know we've been friends ever since and before this Uh, before meeting Zoe I didn't really have anyone who I could talk about these things to because my other friends weren't I use into it as loosely or you know I had friends who did yoga but they weren't you know I couldn't say like what are you manifesting or oh this has happened because you've let go of this so you know it'll bring in your tribe as well. So it'll bring in other people that you can talk to and just say, oh my God, I'm trying to manifest this. And they will tell you, you need to let go of this. Otherwise it's not going to happen. And because they'll understand. So with that being said, is there anything else you want to end with, Zoe? When, no, but when, yeah, maybe. When the uh, (laughs) manifestations do come through, I think you kind of just need to, relish in them and be really grateful for them I'm just actually sat on my couch right now thinking I manifested I've had just had a massive change recently and um and I thought wow I've actually manifested what I've wanted for ages and now I'm actually living it yeah like and you do have to sometimes take a step back don't you and go oh actually Mm -hmm. look at all this (laughs) and I do it all yeah actually I'm living the dream that I had a few years ago or a few months ago like when you think back one more thing actually that popped into my head about gratitude that's also really really important and you can Mm. practice manifestation and gratitude so I used to play around with this when I was you know when it was all new and I was like oh let's see just when you're driving and you know, I'll say when the lights are on red, I'll talk to my spirit guy, like, come on, put them on green. And when it changes to green, whether it's a coincidence or not, I don't believe in coincidences. And I'm literally like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And when there's a parking space, I did it this morning and there was just, a, a, the car park was really full. Someone pulled out, I went straight in and just, yeah. thank you, car parking spirit guides. And I actually say it out loud, I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. More of that next time I park the car and just simple things like that um you know and it's it's within you just to say you know oh thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you like small things if you get a free coffee or you know anything that you feel like mm-hmm. oh that was that was nice I was actually thinking about that let it yeah. come let, let it let it come through um so yes 
thank you very much. I hope everyone's learned something today and go away and just play around with some of these things. And it can just be, it fits into your everyday life. Like I said, you don't need to go off to Bali and have a huge, you know, spiritual Kundalini awakening and meditate every day and, you know, get tattoos and all of the things that people associate with being woo-woo or spiritual. You can live this life and fit it into your everyday easily. Yep. yep. Okay. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. And I will see you in real life very soon. And thank you for yes, joining sure. me this morning on thank the podcast. Thank you so much. I've thank loved you. it. Thank you. And that's it today, everybody. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you again next week. Don't forget, five stars, download, tell your friends. You're amazing.